Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey loves, it's Brianna. Welcome to the 2023 Christmas Clean and Decorate with me. Part two. All right, so you might notice Landon's bed is now in Hayden's room and his crib is gone. I kind of rearranged like the chairs over here now. Big boy bed there. Gotta set up his new mattress. And then I got some new bedding for Hayden. He loves Mickey right now. So these will be his regular sheets for now. And then I found these really cute. They're like Minnie and Mickey Christmas time flannel sheets. So this new mattress was so easy to set up. I got the Newton baby one like I had for Hayden's crib, but this is the twin size one and it's washable too. So since we are potty training, I'm just so happy to have a mattress like this for this phase. I just want to do a good cleaning in here before we put up some Christmas decorations. I'm using my Mary Berry Cap and Clean Multi-Surface Cleaner. It's seriously the perfect scent for cleaning this Christmas time. So make sure you order yours on cabinclean.com so that we can clean together and make your home smell amazing this Christmas season. And I love spraying all the bedding and pillows with the coordinating Mary Berry room freshener. It makes it smell so lovely and clean for Christmas time. Keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? All right, here is Hayden's first Christmas big boy room. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I've been debating maybe taking this out and using some of the Malakaliki Maka stuff I made last year and putting it in my bathroom. But I don't know, I like how, you know, that kind of helps light up the room in here. But put twinkly lights around that little tree that I got for in here. And I love how his bedding turned out. I don't know when I'll be able to paint this bed, but hopefully soon. Cause I really feel like if it was black, it would just kind of go with the Mickey and sort of like the other pieces that are kind of in his room all of the time too. And then added that little puff garland that I just found at Target the other day. I thought that was cute for on the mirror in here too, but yay. I love it. Before we get too far into decorating, I did just want to shout out who I'm collabing with on today's Clean and Decorate With Me video. Her name is Tori. I'm gonna have her channel linked down below. She's a mama of twins and she has always done really incredible decor videos here on YouTube, so I cannot wait to see how she's decorating for Christmas this year. And I just really genuinely like Tori because I think she's very real. Like on Instagram, she's always sharing a lot of her goals about her budget and paying off her debt and saving for a new home. So I just love her and I want you guys to all go support her. So please, when you're done watching my video, use the link in my description box to go check out Tori's video and her channel. Make sure you follow her, subscribe to her, and let her know in the comments that I sent you and wish her a very Merry Christmas. And if Tori sent you here, hello, my name is Brianna and I'm so excited to clean and decorate with you today. We're gonna be doing my kids' bedrooms and my bedroom and hopefully some of the bathrooms too. We're gonna see how much we can get done, but I love sharing cleaning and decorating and homemaking and mom content on my channel. I have three little ones and I would love for you to subscribe and join our YouTube family. <laughs> Look at the girls. 
Which one is the real Koli and Kailua? <laughs> I'm in the process of doing some updates to all of the kids' rooms right now. So Prezi's room is going to be getting some updates here soon. I'm getting her a full-size bed so it's easier for sleepovers and that way I can use her room as a guest room for when my sister or other guests visit because you'll see with how Landon's room is changing in a little bit, he will also be able to have sleepovers with how we're updating his room. So this is probably the last year I'm using these Nutcracker ballet sheets in here. I've just always loved the Christmas theme in her room. It's just so girly. It's so fun to decorate with all the blush and gold. And I'm using my Holiday House multi-surface cleaner and room freshener in here. It is just so clean and cozy and soft and vanilla. And it's my favorite vanilla holiday scent. So I wanted to use it for my sweet girl's room. Do you guys think I should add like twinkle lights in that thing over her bed or something or the trees and that? is under construction because we are turning it into his big boy Minecraft, I don't know why they're called, like preteen, teenage, you know, it's like the room that hopefully will carry him <laughs> through his teenage years. But his new bed just got put together a couple days ago. This is really cool. He wanted to be able to play video games up here, so doesn't have the TV yet, but this you see on the remote, you can like make it glow all these different colors. So, very cool. <laughs> uh, we'll keep it, let's do red since it's Christmas. But then we got him this desk. The only problem is there's a little issue with the drawer that we have to fix, but at least he'll have a desk area here then to do homework. I'm gonna probably put some stuff to decorate this. I need to put on his Christmas bedding. Um, and we are gonna paint the walls. I think we're gonna go with agreeable gray is the color, it's like the same color as in my basement. But that way everything, when we get his Minecraft bedding on, cause I'll show you, he picked out like Minecraft sheets <laughs> for when it's not Christmas. Um, everything's gonna be kind of greens and blues in here and grays, so like green, blues and grays. And that's like the Minecraft pillow he wanted. So it will be Minecraft after Christmas. But for now, we're gonna use the same bedding that he's had the last couple of years. It's like the red checked bedding. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times I'm wiping everything down in Landon's room with the Mary Berry Multi-Surface Cleaner spraying all the bedding with the room freshener and it smells so good in here now. I don't know if anyone else feels this way if you have boys and girls, but the boys' rooms just smell different. So I love when it smells fresh and clean in here. And I definitely have to do a good organize and declutter in here. But for now, just kind of cleaning everything off so it'll be easier to paint as soon as possible. I can promise 
And I hung up some multicolored lights around the bottom of his loft bed, put some Christmas decor on the shelves for right now, and we're still waiting on the custom pad to come in for the new window nook area, but I'm sure that will be such a fun, cozy hangout space, and that can be used for sleepovers too. Where the brown dresser is, I'm going to order a couch, and I was looking at one that folds out to a bed, so again, really easy to have friends stay over, because I feel like that was the highlight of my middle school and high school years was all the sleepovers that I had with my friends. Like Those are some of my favorite memories. So I want the kids to be able to have those memories with their friends too. And here you go, you can take a look at some of those decorations a little bit close up. Okay, Lua. <laughs> She's always so curious. <laughs> Very and I realized I didn't show you close ups on the decor in Hayden's room either, so here you go. Very Merry Christmas. going to decorate my room and I just love this rose gold tree that I got last year. I was so excited to put it up in here again and I just love this white fur bedspread. It gives you all the cozy cabin vibes and I had to add some twinkly lights over the bed and I got some new curtain lights this year. I am so excited to see how they're going to look but I feel like it will make it such a fun vibe for crawling into bed and watching Christmas movies. Very Merry Christmas is a joy girls ready for bed they're like mom we are tired it's almost midnight but I'm plugging away I just want to get everything as done as I can for you guys 
Oh, I love the vibe in here. It's gonna be so fun to like watch Christmas movies with all the twinkly lights. Ah, I love it. And the new furry comfort, oh my gosh, it is so soft and amazing. I love it. I actually really love that that was a really long thing of twinkly lights so that there's more. I feel like it looks really cute. And I really like the new star on top of the tree too. I just made a fast change. I feel like last year I didn't have as much up here. It was looking just like a little cluttered to me. Actually, still is a little bit. Like I kind of want to find me a different home. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I feel like this now, if you see over here, I feel like this looks better. And it's like so pretty how twinkly it is with the candle and the lights in front of it. Maybe that looks a little more balanced. And should I just do no deer? Does it look like a little cleaner? I don't know. It's Christmas So now it's time to clean and decorate the bathroom. It was my first time decorating the bathroom with the newly renovated bathroom for Christmas. And I thought it'd be really fun since I have my Hawaii pictures in here and the whole vibe is for it to feel like a Hawaii spa oasis to use the Mela Kalihi Maka decorations that I made last year for Hayden's nursery. Especially since he's so into Mickey right now, it feels, felt like I needed to be Mickey in there. So I'm glad I had these because I feel like they fit perfectly into the decor and it will be so relaxing during the busy holiday season coming here and chill. Change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas And I don't know about you, but I was starting to get sick this past week. It seems like everyone is getting something. So I made this get well soon soup and I wanted to share it because it helped me feel so much better. So I've got three tablespoons of butter and some minced garlic and then one onion all diced up and then two to three stalks of celery all diced up and then a cup of matchstick carrots and a cup of sliced mushrooms. And I'm just kind of letting all these veggies get a little bit softened before I add in the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> Bradley's helping with all the vegetable prep today. And then to make this a lot easier, I just get this Good and Gather shredded chicken at Target. I mean, I know grocery stores have this too, but it just makes it so much easier for this recipe. And you could use some bouillon cubes. I'm gonna use this better than bouillon though. It's kind of like a liquid bouillon. And then I'm gonna pour in chicken broth. And I'm gonna add in two cups of water for then all that bouillon base. Okay, I've got some kale, because kale is just such a good superfood for you. And I've got a handful of fresh chopped parsley add into this too. Season it up with some salt and then some pepper and then I'm adding in about a cup and a half of some whole grain egg noodles. All right and I'm going to add in some red pepper flakes just to give it a little kick. All right time to eat. It smells so good. It's 
so good. So make sure you try this if you're trying to just get your immunity up or if you're not feeling very good. This is definitely the get well soon soup that you need. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And now we're going to clean and decorate my half bath downstairs. But under the tree, tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I holiday with you tomorrow it is christmas the first for me and you i longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere just us and no one else i've decorated everything to be perfect for this week tomorrow I did a couple of crafts that I made on Instagram this week. So this one, if you want to check it out, it's going to be over on Instagram, but I did like peppermints with twinkly lights wrapped around like the center jar and just some really pretty greenery that I got at Target. And I think in the last video I said to you guys, I was looking for some kind of like striped or red accent plate and they had these red striped ones at Target this past week. So I picked those up for in here. And then another craft I did, I didn't like, I just shared this on Instagram stories. It wasn't a reel or anything like that, but I found just in like a wooden nutcracker at Michael's and I spray painted it that ballet pink color and just hot glued a little red bow on it. And I feel like he's so cute and just ties in, you know, like little pink stuff. So when I put one of the same bows then on that little pink deer, so it kind of makes these shelves coordinate a little bit better. By the way, thank you for a million views on this reel. I just checked today. It's actually up to 1.7 million views on Instagram. Like you guys are amazing. I just appreciate you all so, 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 so much. Like thank you for all your love and support when it comes to the Christmas decor and my videos. I wanted to show you guys on Presley's door. I also did this at an Instagram reel, um, but I decorated it as like a big, large bow. So I just got this six inch wide ribbon from the craft store and I found these little gold bells at Kirkland's. There were, were actually three of them together, so I just cut off the bigger two. And I actually, like I pulled some of the garland or like some stems, I should say, out of the garland and stuck it in there. But um, you just crisscross the ribbon and I folded some paper like in a fan fold to make kind of like the outline of the bow and then I could tuck the ribbon behind it, but I love how this turned out. I'm actually really tempted to maybe wrap like all the doors up here um, on the bedrooms. I think that could be really fun. And I don't think this was in the last video. Tell me if I'm crazy. Um, I think I just did this on Instagram, but I just got a white, like really th like thicker frame and these really cute little mini ornaments from Target and the super tiny ones I got from Hobby Lobby. But I just, with my hot glue gun, like glued them all around this frame and then picked out one of my favorite Christmas pictures. This was the entire family last year at Disney for Christmas. So put that in there and I just, I love this. Like I'm gonna definitely DIY some of these um, with pictures like for the family um, to give as gifts too. Just really thank you so much because I work so hard on these videos and you know if you've been around for a while, I am like such a perfectionist about stuff and I think about this for months before I put these videos together. So it truly just means the world when I see that you guys are actually enjoying and like sharing the stuff that I make. So just thank you so much. I've